my name is Anthony Shamali. I'm the uh, CEO at IBL Africa. Uh, so we're a, a second party food safety auditing specialist firm based in Cape Town. We service the entire world from here. Uh, but as far as my background is concerned, I'm uh, born and bred uh, in uh, Pretoria, South Africa. Studied there, finished my studies uh, as a food technologist in the 90s. Started working in uh, 95 or so. Uh, and I've done you know various different uh, industries, been in the meat industry, spices, casings, um, produce, engineering, uh, and a number of others. Uh, and I think my first introduction to hygienic engineering really was working as a, as a technologist in an engineering company. We were making machinery for the produce industry. Um, and of course, even in that time, and this was uh, in the 90s, we were already coming across the issue of cleanability of machinery. So it was an interesting step uh, into that space. And in about 99, uh, 2000, I stepped into food safety, started uh, working for an international audit firm. Did my training in the UK, spent a lot of time over the last 24 years auditing uh, just about every continent, uh, 100, 120 different countries. Um, so 24 odd years experience in food safety implementation, management, consultation, facility design, equipment design. Um, yeah, and of course, technology has been, uh, been a huge part of my life. Definitely, um, I'm very geeky and passion filled around technology and always looking at leveraging technology for utilization in food safety. I think there's a lot of space for that to, uh, to assist us. A lot of the guys I work with in the industry often uh, are a little bit tech, uh, tech, tech unfriendly or tech, uh, tech fearful. Uh, so hopefully we can start bridging some of that, uh, bringing technology in and just assisting us in what we do. We take a look at the five pillars of food safety culture firmly entrenched in those five pillars will be people and people management and of course training of people is a challenge so uh, a lot of the facilities that i'm dealing with or have dealt with over the last sort of 25 odd years in the food safety space are small to medium enterprises a lot of the sites that we work with sitting in resource poor countries and so training is a challenge so having accessibility to good trainers having accessibility to Training material being translated in effectively into uh, into easy to understand formats is a challenge. So what we're seeing besides the fact that hygienic engineering, of course, is a challenge in food production facilities and engineering teams and maintenance teams as a whole, training is a massive one there. Um, so what we're finding at a lot of our sites is they don't have the budget for a training department. or And what you're finding is supervisors and managers are doing the training. And of course, being a good trainer, uh, isn't something that you you can learn easily. It's something that you uh, you know you need to spend a lot of time on. And when you're working in a production facility, being a trainer is not always your your primary thing. So I think the utilization of AI is amazing, easily available to be able to translate very complex technical documentation into easy to understand formats into any language you like. And of course, we're starting to progress into a space now where you can create videos and photographs with AI to assist you with training. That's, uh, that's going to make it a lot easier to do. But the challenges for me really are around resources and the ability for people to have information that's easy to understand. Moving into any facility, you may find upward of you know seven to eight different languages being spoken by the staff on the floor or within the maintenance team environment. And taking complex training material and, uh, and translating that and getting that into practice and facility is definitely a, a big challenge in the food industry, uh, which is of course stopping us from getting that hygienic engineering detail into the facilities, which deals with those food safety risks that we really wanna try and get rid of in factories. So we wanna try and move away from this idea that AI is like a terminator. You know, some people talk about AI, they're thinking about uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger wandering around uh, robots taking over the world. Uh, but so we want to rather take a look at the real amazing ability that some of this easily available technology has or supplies no matter where they are at a very reasonable cost uh, to be able to translate and change their training material into something amazing and easy to understand. Yeah, listen, I think AI is uh, it's going to play a massive role in the food safety industry. It already is. Uh, so you will find AI in almost everything when you take a look at computerized systems these days. If you're looking at a metal detection system, for example, or an X-ray machine being utilized in the food safety industry, they will have some AI built into the latest models, you know, allowing you to do 
much more uh, with the data that's coming out of that piece of equipment and, and be more effective in what it delivers. So I think AI tools are critically important, giving us the ability to manage and process large amounts of data really quickly. So if you think about microbiological results, food safety outbreaks on social media, AI is playing a massive role and can play a massive role in being able to highlight the less food safety issues in facilities utilizing that technology. Um, and then of course, maintenance, predictive maintenance systems. So there's a lot of development with AI. It's going to make life for us as food safety professionals a lot easier, much more effective data being presented to us in a easy, quick method so that we can make the right decisions to be able to deal with the, the challenges that we come up with in the food safety space. And of course, ultimately save lives. That's what we're trying to do. Make sure that the customers at the end of the day are safe when they, uh, when they are eating the products that we manufacture. So I really do think the adoption of AI is is a huge factor heading forward for us. Of course, cost is an issue. So we know that at the moment to get these very fancy software platforms can be quite costly. So for large multinational firms, this can be a little bit easier, but for the small guys out there, this is where the challenge really comes in. Uh, but it is becoming so easily available and at such a good cost uh, that I just do think it's, it's going to revolutionize some of the stuff we do, make life a lot easier for us, but it's never going to replace human beings uh, in working in food production facilities, I don't think anytime soon. Uh, but we look forward to the future. It's very, very exciting. All right, so I would recommend and suggest for all the manufacturers, retailers, food safety professionals uh, that are out there, come out to the eHedge conference uh, that's going to be held in Nantes in France, 2nd to 3rd October. It's going to be filled with some of the top professionals in the industry talking about the most critically important food safety uh, topic these days, which is hygienic engineering, how that affects food safety within food production facilities, design of factories and machinery. It's going to be a key and interesting uh, session and I'm looking forward to being there. So hopefully we'll see you there. Uh, do attend. Join now.